While battling all sorts of issues at home, humanity is getting ready to colonize the moon. For real, this time, with actual people spending a great deal of time on the surface. The American Artemis program is the main engine of this push, with others chipping in their best gear and knowledge as well. As you are watching this, there is no Earth-based habitat dedicated exclusively to replicating the conditions inside a lunar base. There is the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog Facility meant to simulate missions on Mars, and the Human Exploration Research Analog dedicated to the same thing, but, oddly enough seeing how we'll go to the moon first, nothing dedicated to that. But there will soon be. It's called the Future Lunar Exploration Habitat or FlexHab, and it's being put together over in Europe as part of a larger laboratory the European Space Agency calls the LUNA, located at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. LUNA has been in the cards since 2015 already, and officially opened its doors for astronaut training last year. The place is described as a facility meant to close a gap between the space station and existing analog training to prepare for unique lunar challenges. Although partially operational, LUNA is not yet complete. When work on it ends, it will spread over 1,000 square meters and include every type of facility one can imagine for astronaut training, a simulation of the lunar surface, preparatory rooms, lab space, and supporting infrastructure. That's in the main hall alone, as right next to it there will be a habitation module. That would be the flex hab I mentioned earlier, technically a shipping container that was converted and decorated to mimic the layout and facilities of a potential future human base on the moon. Its main reason for being is, teaching us how to live and work in a place where the smallest of mistakes can kill. The container is large enough to accommodate a total of four astronauts. They are offered small cabins to sleep in, a little kitchen, a laboratory area for research purposes, and a shower with a toilet. For collective activities, the habitat has been specified with a sort of living room. The FLE Zab has a dual purpose. The first would be, naturally, to determine how humans could live and work in such a crammed environment. The second, and equally as important, is to teach space engineers how to optimally and functionally equip and arrange the space for operations. The habitat is not yet open for business, as it is only at a stage where final tests and acceptance sign-offs are being performed. When cleared for operations, though, it could set the standard for astronaut habitat training. ESA says the FlexHab can be used for literally everything, from researching methods of rock analysis to decontamination methods. The impact of group dynamics on team performance when living in the same, small space can be better studied, and entire multi-day missions on the lunar surface could be simulated, down to the smallest of details. Naturally, for that to happen a bunch of people will have to enter the habitat and not exit it for days. They'll have to do everything inside, just as they would on the moon, and go out solely during moonwalk missions in the nearby Luna Hall. There, they will be treated to conditions that mimic the ones on the moon as closely as possible. The most important area is the 700 square meters regolith testbed, with a surface made from a lunar dust simulant called EAC-1 and produced from volcanic powder, dating back to around 45 million years ago. At the same time, controllable illumination will make it feel like the lunar day-night cycle is actually unfolding in there. Back to the FlexHab itself, the facility can also be used to test hardware that may one day be shipped to the moon, including new life support systems, airlocks, lighting, and wastewater processing. It's not clear when the habitat will be ready to start operations, but we do know the Luna facility itself will be continuously expanded. Next on the agenda is the arrival of something called the Eden Luna, an automatic lunar greenhouse meant to inform the creation of such facilities for use on space stations and in alien world facilities.